they are the men and women who wants to put sunshine in the hearts of the poorest of the poor. There is some remarks which I have made on countless occasions. I make these remarks because I think it is necessary for us to remind ourselves of what human beings have done both to oppress and exploit other human beings and to address their living conditions and to make life worthwhile. Men and women all over the world come and go. Some leave nothing behind, not even their name. It would appear that they never lived at all. Others do leave something behind. the haunting memory of the evil deeds they committed against other human beings. Various kinds of theft, robbery, malicious injury to property, denial of human rights, simply because people are of a different color to you. Torture, imprisonment without trial, and political assassinations. Every time the names of such people are mentioned, even at the height of their power, with all the glittering symbols of power, they are like a grave, beautiful outside, rotten inside. Whenever their names are mentioned, feelings of contempt, of disgust, of revulsion, of hatred well up in our hearts. We regard them as the scums of the earth, as pieces of rags who are not fit to live. There is another second category of people who leave something behind. These are the men and women who have emerged in various parts of the world and who have chosen the world to be the battleground of their efforts, the theater of their operations. Their task in life is one. That is to improve the living conditions of the people amongst whom they live. To make life, to make everybody feel that it is worthwhile to live. To fight questions like poverty, ignorance, disease, and want. They are the men and women who want to put sunshine in the hearts of the poorest of the poor. Their name lives beyond the grave. They are the men and women who, when their last day comes, 
we are able to say from the bottom of our heart, here lies a man or woman who has done his or her duty to country and people. Their names live beyond the grave. They become immortal. I have traveled around this country. I've traveled around the world. I have seen, as a result of efforts that have been made by men and women who were hardly known before, the father of this young lady, the late Oliver Tambo, the old man next to us here who sent me to jail, Walter Sisulu. <laughs> if I had not met him, today I would have been a rich man. <laughs> but I'm poor because I ignored the advice of my principal under whom I uh, had my articles of clerkship as a lawyer. He kept on warning me, leave as a solo alone. <laughs> you will spend the greater part of your life in jail. <laughs> he, I didn't believe him, and that's what happened as a result of association with him. <laughs> but on a serious note, these are the men and the women who have put sunshine in the hearts of the poorest of the poor. But they are not the exceptions. As I look at you, there is written across the faces of many of you that feeling of immortality. And that is what has given me hope because I find that expression as I travel right around the world. And today we are meeting here to celebrate an event which is designed to empower our young people. Because as has often been said, our youth are the most important national asset that we have. Amongst these children, are going to be members of parliament, are going to be ambassadors, are going to be cabinet ministers, are going to be deputy presidents, are going to be presidents. It is for that reason that we should give them the opportunity to advance. And this children fund is a small contribution in that direction. And I'm very grateful that South Africans have uh, responded to the challenge I made when I established this fund. There is no black man, there is no white man. All of them regard themselves as South Africans and that this is a common cause which requires their participation. And it is for that reason that every night when I go to bed, I do so full of strength and hope because I can see in my own country the rainbow nation emerging. Different cultures, but one nation. And it is in this spirit that I came here and it is in that spirit that when I come to a gathering of this nature, I feel 50 years younger than I am. Thank you.
made my day. I am not going to wash my hands. Eh? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Thanks, Emilio. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. So happy indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Absolutely wonderful evening. Yeah? And I hope uh, you will give uh, the other children uh, my love and greetings. Yeah? Tell them I love all of them. Yeah? Will you? Yes. In your respective schools? Yes. Very good. And um, I'm so very proud of you. Very proud. Very proud. The bullet got cold, yeah? Bullet got cold. How are you? Very nice today. Very nice. Yes? How are you? Very nice. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you indeed, yeah? I'm so proud of you. Very proud. Will you tell the children in the school that I love them? Very good. Very good indeed. I'm so happy to have danced with you, you know? Very happy indeed that you allowed me to dance with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm very, very, very proud of you. Eh? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Milo. Eh? Thank you. Well, it was a great day for me. A great night indeed. Please enjoy yourself. Eh? Yes. Very good. Very good. I'm very proud of you. And I know that uh, our country is now on the map when I see you. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. You remember what to say to the other children? What do you say to them? Huh? That I love them. Eh? Very good. First class. First class. Thank you. Bye bye.